Here in Perth, the odd 40 degree day is to be expected in summer. But when six 40 degree plus days are strung together, the heat is relentless, both on us and our gardens. Choosing plants that are suited to your local climate and growing conditions is the first step in planning a heat resilient garden because they're more likely to bounce back after an extreme event. Sure, they may still get hit hard at the height of summer, like this Carpabrotus and Lamandra, but their resilience will shine through in their recovery. So what do you do in the aftermath of an extremely hot day when you see burnt leaves like on this hardened bergia? Well, the first do is in fact a don't. You need to resist the urge to cut back a damaged plant like this, because if you do, it'll promote new shoots and that young, tender foliage is highly vulnerable to being fried on the next hot day. These young sweet viburnums have really copped a blast, as have the broad leaves of the Aspidistra and bananas. But I'm keeping my secateurs in their holster because cutting off the damaged leaves will expose the stems, buds and rhizomes to potentially damaging heat from direct sun. Here's what you can do. Rather than react to the heat after the fact, prepare your garden so your plants are in great condition heading into summer. Deep, occasional watering of your established plants will help develop the sort of root systems that will support resilience in hot conditions. The best time to water is either overnight or early in the morning, so the water's available when the plants need it. And make sure beds are well mulched to retain moisture and keep plant roots cool. When it comes to young veggie seedlings like these ones, well, they've only got shallow root systems. So small amounts of water frequently is the way to go. And if you see them wilting, well then water them straight away, regardless of the time of day. Of course, you also have shade in your armory. Potted plants can be relocated out of harm's way during the hotter months. But there are also shady solutions for the bigger plants that can't be moved. This is 50% weave shade cloth. And on really hot days, it's very useful for protecting precious plants, like this fig underneath, it's fruiting nicely. Now those really hot, strong days, fruit like this can literally cook on the plant before you get a chance to pick it and eat it. So one of the great things about this shade cloth is that in addition to blocking out half that sun, it does allow plenty of air through so the plant can breathe. Also being white in colour, it reflects the sunlight rather than getting hot. Once it cools down, you just take it off. Plants aren't the only things in the garden that need to be considered during hot spells. Spare a thought for wildlife too. If you have a bird bath or a pond, top them up and supplement them with other water sources around your garden so there's plenty of safe and accessible water available. Extreme heat is something you can prepare your garden for ahead of the onslaught of summer. Sure, things may not escape totally unscathed, but that preparation and ongoing care will certainly make a big difference and help your plants bounce back. 